Hello fifth graders. In today's video, Mr. Roth is going to teach you how to complete Google Classroom assignments using an iPad or tablet. This is right here. You have a screen recording of what I did on the iPad. So first, I'm going to try to match what I did earlier. First, you want to make sure you've downloaded Google Classroom. It's this app right here. Okay, that green app right there. All right. Second, you want to make sure that you sign into your school Gmail account. I'm going to demonstrate that right here. See this right here? This is the one. All right. Make sure you're signed into that. I'm going to show you. Yep. You got to hit for the faces. And you can add another account right there. That's where I pressed. Sweet. See how I have mine right there already. Yeah, you want to make sure you pop up like that. Once you've done that, you should see your classes right here. For today's video, I'm going to go to Droll Practice because I'm going to view this from the student's perspective. Look, there's a new assignment PDF demo. I'm going to click this assignment because clearly it's something I need to complete. Okay. You can find it in classwork or you can find it on the stream. Oh, so I had to hit, hang on, slow down there. I had to hit your work. So you click that assignment here, then you click your work, that arrow, and that's how you get to this PDF. And there's like an ad attachment and turn in. You click on that PDF and suddenly you're here you want to hit this to edit it, to be able to draw on it, to be able to write on it. For math, this could be huge if you have a PDF. Whoa, coming at you. You can zoom in. You can write. See how you have this icon here? You can write on the PDF just like that. Um, you can type on it. You can do all sorts of things with this if you use... This bottom icon here. Whoa. So clearly I just press and I hit the text. And I'm trying to say yes, subscribe. You should subscribe to the channel if you have not already, because this is just so informative, this content. Okay. And here I demonstrate sub. I wrote that with my finger as a touch screen. Here what I'm trying to demonstrate with you hit this button for undo or you can hit this eraser icon and then you can erase stuff so that's kind of neat um, you have your highlighter which is what I'm going to now and you can highlight subscribe or whatever it is you're working on however you want to mark your work it's kind of up to you by the way you can also add a, a Google Doc in this exact same way you could mark it up just like this if you hit that marker in the top right corner of your screen. That is a marker as well. So you're kind of seeing all the features that you have that you can get with these, um, with this Google Classroom on the iPad feature. So you're seeing now what I'm kind of expecting you to be able to use this for. This is especially important for remote learners. Well, it's kind of explicitly for you. I recommend using this and you can zoom way in with your fingers and then you can back up and it's not taking up a ton of space. If you don't zoom in and you try to write, you're going to run out of space. Just a, just a heads up on that. When you're done, you have to press save. Otherwise, you will lose your work. It's right here. Press save. And I wrote notes down for this. So here we go. When you finish, do not forget to press save. Okay. If you don't press save, None of your work is, is going to be saved. Wow, that's really difficult to figure out. It's going to create a new attachment that the teacher can see in most cases, at least from my perspective. It might look the same from you, but hey, look, there it is. It's saved. I don't mind if you have multiple attachments to a Google Classroom post. Don't mind that at all. Um, I'd rather have that than a student who is really, really frustrated because they did a bunch of problems. They worked them out and then everything just gets erased. So this is definitely something that you need to do. I really strongly recommend that you save frequently 
even if it's more than once, it's fine. When you finish the assignment, be sure to turn in your work. Whoa, now I'm just caught up talking. Turn in, hit that button, yep. That way, the teacher's gonna know it's done. All right, that's all I have for completing assignments on Google Classroom with the iPad. If you have any questions about what I covered in the video, be sure to email me at mroth1 at ecsdfl dot us. That is mroth, R-O-T-H, 1 at ecsdfl dot us. Mr. Roth is 